in this video a uh, first ID, a first video uh, about a moisture indicator. That could be useful, for instance, when you do gardening, like I do. This is Basil, by the way. And well, I made an experimental circuit at first. I want to make another circuit that will be in the next video, perhaps this evening. And it's all made with a field effect transistor. So one field effect transistor here that does the job. It is the BF256A. It's an NFET. And that means that when that NFET gets a positive voltage on its gate, it starts to conduct between the drain and the source. And that means that the current starts to flow so we can drive a, a LED, a red LED or a green LED, normal uh, red or green LED with that circuit. And this is the circuit. It's in fact very simple. The only issue is in a certain way that we cannot set the sensitivity of the how the circuit works because it gets a kind of positive voltage here to that NFET it starts to conduct in a certain way but as long as the gate is clamped to ground to the negative there will no uh, current be flowing here so but when the, the say the earth the, the soil gets dry, uh, the fat will react on that positive current, better said, voltage on the gate and the LED lights up. So, very simple circuit. I think it is useful, useful for gardening. I will uh, try to make a new circuit, especially with two electrodes. Now it's purely experimental at the moment. You can see it here. Two batteries, a switch, a LED that lights up, perhaps not visible, but I will uh, switch off all the lights, etc, etc. And here is the plant that we are going to use for this demo. At the moment, the uh, field effect transistor gets a kind of positive voltage here. That means uh, that the LED lights up, but when we make a shortcut here, and I will do that now, here's the gate. So when I make a shortcut here, the LED doesn't light up any longer. That's of course completely logical because the LED is clamped to ground in that case. So now the, the wires are open, now it's closed and there is say a tiny current flowing. You can see it here. There is a slight LED a light effect here even when the two electrodes here are connected together. So there is a shortcut. So the, the gate is completely, uh, say, clamped to ground, to, to, to negative. So there is a certain way of balance, etc. I don't think it's very important, but anyway, something to take in account. So perhaps from this distance you can see what happens. So, in the left part of the screen, I make that contact, and that contact has, of course, to be made via the soil. Uh, there's an important thing to tell that when you use two electrodes here, they must be made of the same material. So, not, for instance, here iron and here uh, copper 
or here silver and here copper because they give a potential. So that means that you may, must make, in this case at least, two electrodes of the same material. And in the next video, this is the first video, I want to use two copper electrodes. Here we have two crocodile clips. They are made of the same metal. I will stick them into the soil of the plant now. This is one electrode pushed in. Push in the other electrode and you can see that when I push it in, both electrodes are now pushed in into the soil. The lead um, uh, does, not, does not light up any longer. Or there is a very, very faint light. Uh, I cannot explain that. Perhaps it's leakage, kind of leakage inside that field effect transistor. Perhaps with an other field effect transistor you will have better results. Anyway, I think it's not very important. Of course, um, there is also between these two electrodes a certain resistance. And as far as I know, there are tables on the World Wide Web or for agricultural purposes, tables where um, they tell about the uh, electric conductance of soils in certain situations. I'm more or less absolutely sure, and you and they in in the agricultural sides uh, take conclusions about that anyway. I don't know so much about that, but uh, well, I know that these tables exist. And uh, the electrical, say, current that can flow through wet soil or a moderate, mo uh, moderate wet soil or dry soil uh, can give an indication about the type of soil, etc. Anyway, so this is the the whole experimental circuit, two batteries here, and uh, in the next video I hope to publish more information and then especially about how you can align here, especially on the gate of that field effect transistor, a different voltage, say with a potentiometer here, so that you can set, say, more or less exact voltage where the uh, NFET field effect transistor is pinched off or not. That could mean that you can get a more precise uh, indication about how wet the soil is and where you of course have to handle uh, to protect your flowers or whatever. In this case, basil. It takes a lot of water, by the way. I had not expected it. Anyway, other crops or uh, whatever can take uh, or need less water, etc., etc. So, this is only a first ID to give an ID about how such a circuit works. Perhaps interesting to tell when the lead is burning, it takes 3 mA out of these two batteries, and when the lead is out, so when the soil is dry, it um, takes 300 mA. So, when the soil gets dry, I'm, I'm telling it in a reverse way. Anyway, this is how it works. When the soil gets, when the soil gets dry, it takes 3 mA, and when the soil is wet, the whole circuit only takes 300 microampere. That's not much. Thanks for watching.